Okay, so what I have here is basically I'm gonna take my five favorite baits that have caught me the most fish. They've been my favorite to fish, cast, fish slow, fish fast, you name it. And I'm gonna put these underwater and show you basically what it looks like. Um, I originally did a video with crankbaits underwater in 2017. I got the idea, well, for the pool thing from Lunkers TV. So, I mean, if anybody's like, oh, copycat, whatever, well, yeah, kinda. I mean, I just wanna show you guys five of my favorite baits underwater. Um, just a little bit of variation, something different. You don't see it often on my channel. But anyway, what you're going to see is you're going to see a Rapala DT6. You're going to see a Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus one. Uh, you're also gonna see a War Eagle half ounce, uh, Screaming Eagle compact silhouette, Golden Shiner, the Guggenbaits Dragon Drop in the Watermelon Red color. And you are going to see the Strike King coffee tube in the natural goby color let's get these baits tied on and show you what they look like
just in case you guys missed any of the names, baits, whatever, you do have the Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus one. This is actually the Table Rock SP color. It is a half ounce in weight. Up next, you do have the Rapala DT6. This is the Blaze color. And yes, I have caught fish and a lot of big fish on both of these baits, okay? Up next, you have the War Eagle half ounce spinner bait. This is the Compact Silhouette. Uh, the Screaming Eagle in a Golden Shiner, excuse me, in the Golden Shiner color. You have the Strike King coffee tubes in the Natural Gobi color, which I've talked about all these baits a lot. These are my favorite colors. Natural Gobi. I mean, really, I wanted to give you guys a look at these baits underwater and do something different. I originally did some Squirrelbill crankbaits underwater in the pool in 2017 and i figured hey i know you guys like the tackle videos it's been over two years so why not do that and then of course last but not but not least you have the guggen baits drag and drop in the watermelon red color and what i'm going to do is i'm going to have the name the size and the color of each of the baits linked down in the description below if you guys want to check that out and also in the description if you are new to my channel Remember this, if you're new to my channel, in the description you will have links to 10 of my favorite videos. A lot of those are smallmouth bass videos, uh, my PB largemouth, Shimano, uh, a lot of trips. I have like 300, and I think it's 306 or 307 videos. I hope you guys enjoy. Up next after this you do have Monster Bass Tackle. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so what we're looking for is about anywhere from 20 to 35 foot of water with cara beds. The smallmouth are on these cara flats right now and eating crayfish, perch, everything else is in there right now. So we're crawling hula grubs on the bottom with heavy jig heads so that we're staying in contact with the bottom the whole time, whether we're in 25 or 35, three quarter ounce jig heads, big heavy gauge hooks, um, and just scooting them on the bottom, keeping contact with the bottom, reeling them, moving them, stopping them and killing them and letting them sit and pulling them again and just kind of speed burning them on that 30 foot deep car and i noticed too we went over a spot that was what over 100 feet deep Did oh yeah. you say 180 deep spots 180 out in the middle something like that so we're fishing that's why the, the advantage of some of these big lakes this time of year is in the middle of summer they still have cold water so you can go find them you can find more active fish because they have better water temps um, so that's what we're doing. Small lakes kind of get tough this time of year and they'll start firing up end of August, early September. But this time of year, it's, it's these deep water lakes tend to fish a little bit better, give you a little opportunity to get bigger fish. That's where I got bit. Yep, just go over there. Yep, there's a pile of perch right underneath here. God, I wanted to be catfish. <laughs> Sadly, it'll probably never happen again though for him. No, I know. Get yep. it to the bottom, get it to the bottom. There it is. Wait. They'll always come back to it. Trust yeah, it, like they feel crayfish. Crayfish hit them back, so they're not afraid to come back to it. Here you go. Here he is. Might be a little, but all right. Let's do it. Whatever. Good bite. There we go. Good bite. There we go. The other one. Man. I figured something out. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and they come right back on it too. Yep. Fat. Oh yeah, they're all fat. <laughs> it's funny. Hey, little fella. Exactly. Let's get a big one. He's trying to get bigger. Don't be I just learned something about that hula grub. How oh, they come back on it. Yeah, and how I almost screwed it, screwed it up coming right. back on it. Because <laughs> you just nip it right when it fell. Yeah, and then I thought, oh, the bite's over, but they're going to come back. Oh, so. Yeah. 